Hello everyone, this is Bacholi with Archeon. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks about components and tools. When adding a component to a build, you can hold Shift to change the base. You can hold X to center a component. This allows you to access a 12.5 centimeter grid. You can also use this to squeeze components more tightly. V on everything. You can hit V while aiming at anything in the game and you get an information window. In the case of the battery, in creative mode, you can recharge it or discharge it as well. If you hit V on the ground, you get a distance. Hitting V on a build, meaning either on a block or a beam, you can get information about the build itself and also the center of mass. If you flip your vehicle, you can reset its orientation by hitting V on a block, and then you have a reset orientation button. It will use the um, Y axis, basically the green arrow. So when you build something, you make sure the green arrow is your up. And this is the only place that the game cares about the orientation of things. There's a special push and pull logic that applies to fluids and items. In this example, we have some components that work with fluids and the fluid tank here will only accept push or pull and emit a push from its pressure, but it will not pull by itself. The electrolyzer, however, will not accept any push or pull from another component it will by itself pull what it needs and push the output. Same for the turbo pump here. They work in a similar way. It will only pull and push, but it will not accept a push or pull from another component. The thruster will only accept a push to it. Further information on which component does pull and push is available on the wiki. You can make a transparent screen using a dashboard and extending a screen beyond the bounds of that dashboard. And then from the computer code, you can do blank zero like this, and then you can draw anything you want. And you've got a transparent screen. With the paint tool, you can pick a color by right clicking on that color and then you can copy that color onto other pieces. This only works with blocks. Hit V on the bubble head to see the G-forces. Sadly, there are no coffee beans in the Archeon Eon 3 billion years ago. They didn't exist yet. That will be it for this video. See you in the next one.